the Q&A video that I've been meaning to make for a few weeks, I think. So yeah, the first question is from Krautmouse. I'll put his YouTube channel on, yeah, I'll put, I'll try to put all the YouTube channels on my, uh, on the info. Oh, people who ask the question. So, yeah, uh, the first question is, I, I can't expect this, it's about, you know, seeing my face, because I never, I never showed it to you guys. So, yeah, this, this is my face. Whatever, uh, you guys might have guessed I'm Asian, I'm Chinese, and, yeah. Okay, second question. Uh, it's from Guns of War, and he's asking me what the hardest game I've ever played. The hardest game I've ever played would be... Devil May Cry 3 on Dante Must Die mode. Because I never beat it, because holy crap, that shit was way too hard for me. Like, I got it, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, it might not be that bad. Like, I, like, I beat hard, so I was like, okay, maybe, not, maybe it won't be that bad. But like, holy shit. Oh my god, I got raped on it. I don't even want to talk about it. I have so many bad experiences with that. Okay, next one is uh, from Bamp Ops. Which is which was actually my first subscriber, since I remember this guy. He was my first subscriber when I first made my Metal Gear Solid 1 video. I Metal Gear Solid 4 Act 1 Part 1 video. His question is, uh, if I choose between playing the newer, newer gen games or the old gen games, which would I choose? Okay, right now I play a lot of old, like I play a lot of new gen games. Like, you know, like PS3 stuff. But if I had to, okay, if I had to choose, which was which was a better like video game? I, I would say the old gen games, because all these new gen games, yeah, they have a lot. You know, they're amazing. The graphics are incredible. Sounds incredible. Voice acting is like okay. I guess, I guess it's okay. But and then yeah, like everything's so amazing. Like new games, but in the old games, they had this. You know, they had this. Okay, I'm not really that much old school gamer. Like the old console I played was the Super Nintendo, and that was because my uncle had it. First console I ever owned was it. PS1, so that's, that's kind of current gen, I guess. So, like, yeah, the, the old games just had this charm to it. Like, take Mario, for example. You know, just basic guy saves the princess. You know, it's not, like, some huge thing that's smart to do all this, all this crazy crap. Like, sure, he did stuff, but he, I mean, he didn't, like, go on these wild quests and everything. And, like, you know, it's just, like, you know, it's just, a, just like a basic game. You can just sit down, pick it up, and play without having to study the game a lot. Like, okay, like, Persona 3. Oh, I played that game two years ago. So much stuff I had to worry about for social links. Uh, I, I never beat it. If you guys want how to record my vids uh, by Cob O Cob Cod? Yeah, Cob Cod. Yeah. Uh, I'll be posting this after I've made the tutorial video. So check there. Mm, okay. Next one is from Grams Size. No, Grams. Sci Freedom? Yeah, big sound things mod through. Would you ever consider doing Silent Hill walkthroughs? Huh, uh, I, okay, the guy who inspired me to do walkthroughs was Psychedelic Snake. I, some of you guys might know him. Like, I, like, I used to know him back then. And, yeah, I know he made a lot of Silent Hill walkthroughs. So, with Silent, Silent Hill walkthroughs, I don't, I've never played a Silent Hill game before. And, I don't know. Maybe I might do a walkthrough for it, or I might not walk through a playthrough for it, but I wouldn't really, it wouldn't be something I would really, really want to do, because uh, it's just not really my type of game, it's too psych psychological horror for me, it's not really my thing. But I might, so whatever, maybe I might change. Alright, next one is from Jesus is Mexican. Uh, you say you use the PC mouse more on, uh, oh yeah. Uh, am I a PC gamer? Yes, I actually am a PC gamer. I, I pref okay, the only FPS game I own on my PS3 is Killzone 2. That's because, I know a lot of people ask me about Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 5, all stuff, and yeah, I have those games, but only on, like, Steam, because since I don't like, like, look at this. See? You can see this? I, I can't control it that well, like, my aiming is terrible with the right stick. I'm, I'm better with keyboard and mouse. Like, ever since I played Counter-Strike from years ago. I've always been custom with keyboard and mouse, so I always play games like that. Uh, I've never really gotten good with this. So, yeah, uh, specs on my PC. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I built I built my PC about two years ago. So, see, I got a 
Uh, Core 2 Duo E5600. Uh, I think I think stock clock is 2.4. I OC'd it to 3.0, I think. I'm probably going to swap it out for a quad. So the, I'm probably going to give my brother my Duo. Uh, my board was 6. I don't remember. It was some, it was some Intel. I mean, not Intel. It was some NVIDIA board. Uh, 630i SLI, I think. I don't remember. Uh, RAM, I have like 4 gigs of... Corsair, I think. I was gonna say, yeah. I think Corsair. Four gigs of Corsair RAM. It's just, it's just whatever RAM. It's not really that important. Uh, graphics card, uh, 8800 GTS or X. I don't remember. I know it's one of the 8800 G series. Um, it's got a shitload of fans since I was, I was always afraid of it overheating, so I put too many fans in there. So I'll take some out. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember much for that computer. I just made it and I game with it. So, yeah. Let's see. Next question would be... What's my favorite game and why? Okay. My favorite game, I would say, would be Metal Gear Solid 4. I guess that's really not much of a surprise to you guys. Because since, you know, that was my first walkthrough. No, actually, yeah, alright, Metal Gear Solid 4 is my current favorite game. Because even though I haven't played the game like, maybe almost a year since, after I made that walkthrough, the last time I played the game, I would go on, I went online a few times, but it wasn't really that big. So, yeah, after... MGS, I mean, like, cause since, you know, just, it was just an amazing game, you, I'm sure you guys know the storyline, whatever, it was badass, epic, snake, I don't want to throw any spoilers up for you guys haven't seen, like, guys played Metal Gear yet, you know, it's badass, hella cool shit happens at the end of some 10 year franchise, if you wait 5 years, hell hype for this game, yeah, it was just amazing, but my favorite game would be Kingdom Hearts 2, okay, I know Kingdom Hearts 2 wasn't as great as Kingdom Hearts 1, but Kingdom Hearts 2 is the first Kingdom Hearts I played, and it was the game that got me into a lot of Square Enix games. Because back then I played the PS1 Final Fantasy games, but you know, I was little. I just played when I really know what the hell I was doing. I got all maybe almost 10 at the time, 9 or 10. But, and then, but Kingdom Hearts really got me. I remember my friend got that thing for my birthday back in like 2006. And you know, I was like, oh, okay, Kingdom Hearts, whatever. It's So I played it a bit, and I wasn't really that into it. Then one day I just played it for eight hours. No, I'm not exaggerating, but, you know, I played it a long time. And I was really, really into it. Then from then on, I was just got, I was got really into that game. Like, I spent the whole first week of summer maxing out my, everything in the game, getting 100%. Then after that, I went and bought Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and I maxed that out. Then I got Kingdom Hearts 1, maxed that out. So, I don't know why I played it backwards. But yeah, you know, Kingdom Hearts, that's a really good franchise. It's not an amazing franchise, but I just really like the feel of the game. Just the whole mixing Square and Disney and the battle system. It's just, you know, it's fun. It's just good old fun. Uh, let's see. Okay, since you've over a thousand subscribers. Yeah, this next one. Oh crap, I didn't say. Okay, the question about my favorite game was from Hunter X Asia. Alright. So the next one uh, is from PA, no, no, P4528. Is no, that is my PSN? Yes, my PSN is actually full. So, but I know a lot of people that are on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I know a lot of people when I'm online, you guys message me and stuff, I don't really respond. It's because usually I'm like playing with a friend or something. So I can't really just go on, just immediately go on another game and just have them sit out and play. You know, that's kind of, kind of, kind of not that cool. So yeah, my PSN, my PSN list is kind of full. Um, I've lately been deleting, oh not deleting, but like, you, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, I've been like deleting some of the really old people that, you know, that have added me but never signed on in like five months or something. So I've been kind of deleting that, because since, you know, it's been five months, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, that sounded kind of stupid, it's not kind of bad. Uh, next one, Marco93101. Did I play MGS4 with a keyboard and mouse? No, I didn't. But I heard... But I heard there was a speedrunner who did. His name escapes me. He was like the first greatest speedrunner. Or he was the first guy to... I don't remember his name. 
I know you. I think YouTube or not, just people people were talking about it. But I don't remember his name. I remember I used to watch all his videos. No, I'll look it up. I don't remember the name. Sorry. Uh, what upcoming games do you plan on getting? Uh, that's from Lance Rules three six three. Modern Warfare 2, I'm... Okay, there's a lot of controversy over Activision right now, so I don't really want to say if I'm going to get it or not. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker? Yes, I'll get that, but... <laughs> two years or something. But yeah, I'm going to get it. Battlefield 1943. I don't know what that is. The upcoming game I guess I'm getting would be... Uh... As you can see, Uncharted 2, and probably Assassin's Creed 2. Alright, next one. From BK Brawlerman13. Uh, what made you start 